Hello, I'm Richard Fulford of fishlife.co.uk and I'm at one of my favourite ponds here on the Surrey, West Sussex border. Um, people often ask me how to stop their pond from going green. Now, as you can see, this pond is crystal clear. And the reason why this pond is crystal clear is because of the filter system, which is behind this hedge here, this beach hedge. This filter system, well, there's two of them actually. We've got two Awaza FiltoClear 30,000s. So each of these filters has an integrated 55 watt UV bulb. In here, there's a bulb, and that bulb is 55 watts, and we have two of them. So these bulbs need replacing yearly. So what is ultraviolet clarification? Ultraviolet clarification is ultraviolet radiation. And when water containing single-celled algae, green water, passes by the bulb, the UV, will damage the cells. We're talking about single-celled algae. So ultraviolet clarification is the best way to either clear a pond that's gone green or to prevent a pond from going green. Now this pond has never gone green and that's because these were installed at the same time that the pond was constructed. Ultraviolet clarification will not prevent blanket weed. Now I'm going to show you blanket weed. There's some blanket weed growing on that lily basket there. This is blanket weed. There's not much of it, but it is present. Now I was here, the last time I was here was two months ago. If you look carefully, there is blanket weed growing. Now in a couple of months time with increased warmth and daylight hours this blanket heat weed here will end up just taking over all of the pond so blanket weed grows when there's an abundance of nutrients so where do the nutrients come from the nutrients are present in the tap water and this pond has to be regularly topped up with tap water now in a heavily stocked pond lots of fish um, being regularly fed, that's an additional source of nutriment. But here in this pond, there's only a handful of um, rud, they're hiding underneath the decking here actually. There's only a handful, I don't know, maybe 10 at the most. So you quite often hear experts suggesting more plants. And that is true, that plants do remove nutrients. But I've seen ponds where there is a good, a really good coverage of plants, maybe um, as much as 75% of the pond is just plant growth, marginal plants, um, and yet still issues with blanket weed. I think every pond is different, and um, but blanket weed is quite easily uh, controlled. There are products on the market. I like to use Blanket Answer. So today I'm going to spend some time here trying to remove some of these leaves and some of the silt. But what it will do is it will stir the pond up um, and it will make the pond murky temporarily. So I've got to try my best to remove the blanket weed manually using my trusty Awaza Pondovac 5, try and remove as much of the blanket weed as possible, um, and then try and remove some of the leaves and the silt. Now there is a plant over here that's doing quite very well actually. This is called um, Potamogeton crispus. Um, it's one of my favourite obligate submergents, so it's a true aquatic plant. Now I put that in sort of autumn last year, and it's doing really well. That's good.